How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you some of the iOS 7 or the iPad Air gestures. Uh, a lot of people are not too familiar with the, the gestures that you can do with the iPad and specifically with the Air. Uh, so I want to go ahead and show them to you real quick here. So first thing is if you're in an app, for example, let's say you're in the photo app and then you go out of it and let's say you go to, I don't know, the app store, right? You can actually switch back and forth from the app store to the um, previous app just by taking four fingers and touching the screen and moving it. So you can't go that way, but you can go the other way. So look at that, we can actually switch between the apps. Four fingers, same time, and you swipe, okay? Now that's the first gesture. Here's the second gesture. Take your whole hand and you're gonna just curl it in, like you're curling it in, okay? Just like this, you can use this and you can actually get back to the home screen. Okay, so open an app. Let's say you're in an app and you wanna get back to the home screen, don't wanna hit the home button. You can just go ahead and curl or you can do a half curl. So curl, you can even kinda of play with it, kinda of cool. But that's a cool little gesture that will allow you to get back to your home screen. The next gesture is really cool. If you ever get tired of double clicking the home button to bring up your multitask to see all your running apps, you can simply just do this. With um, four fingers, you're gonna just touch and you're gonna swipe up, okay? So just like this, okay? And that will bring up your multitask. You can see all the apps that are running. And hey, maybe you say I wanna close Instagram. Swipe up just like that and they're closed okay even if you're in this app right now you can still swipe up and it won't bring up your multitask so it works in apps as well as out of apps and if we tap we're in the app store remember we can switch back and forth four fingers and then with our whole hand we can just curl in and that will take us back to the home screen so those are three gestures that a lot of people don't even know about I, uh, iPad Air. It's not just iPad Air. It also does work for the previous iPads. It's just not really advertised that much, but um, there are little shortcuts that will help you operate your iPad a little more efficiently, work it a little faster. And for those of you that don't know, um, you used to be able to hit the home button once and it would take you to the search. In case you didn't know, to get to the search, you just put your finger anywhere in the middle of the iPad and just swipe down. And that will bring up your search right at the top here. Okay? Just like that. And then one last one you guys may notice my keyboard is split. Okay, so to do that, all you're going to do is finger on the left, finger on the right. You're going to just swipe outward, okay? That will separate it and then you can swipe. Oh, sorry. We can just put our fingers here and we're going to swipe in together. Swipe out, swipe in. Okay, so those are a couple of gestures there. You guys may have heard of a couple, but maybe not all of them. So in case you didn't, those are some gestures there that are uh, that work for the iPad Air as well as for the previous iPads as well. All right, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. Uh, keep watching. Uh, we got plenty more iPad Air videos on the way. So take care and have a good one.